I am 15 years old, about to start my journey online. I made accounts on social media and some e-learning platforms to learn about cybersecurity, the field that I am interested in. While I was doing so, my eyes were opened to all kinds of infiltrations on our privacy and data that were happening. And I am really scared. How many of you have an account on any kind of social media? What if I told you that all your data is under risk, your privacy is under risk? Which in hypothetical terms I mean to say is that someone can read all your data, read all your chats, see all your searches. This someone can turn on your camera on your phone or your computer forcibly and take pictures of you. Apple CEO Tim Cook has said, if you leave a key under the mat for the cops, the burglar can find it too. Criminals are using every technology tool at their disposal to hack into people's accounts. If they know there's a key hidden, they won't stop until they find it. As I said earlier, hackers can use your devices in all the ways you can. But such tech experts are not the only ones doing so. There can be people Anyone who could be gathering information and reading your posts totally in a way that is intrusive. So be aware of whatever you're posting because it can be that in your quest to increase your followers, you can do a mistake and please do not risk your privacy for such a thing. Secondly, about cookies. So when you go to some websites such as Amazon, Google or Flipkart, there are such small pieces of information related to your searches that are saved on the computer. So when you go to social media or any other website, these are what the ads are based on. So cookie is a piece of data sent by the website to the user's computer by the user's web browser while the user is browsing. These cookies can know your location, your country, your search list, and much more. But the twist comes here. These cookies may be used to keep you signed in so that you don't have to log in again and again. But as they are sending targeted ads, so basically they know your exact location and your likes and dislikes, which is a very sensitive part of information. And as ads are marketing, they can also sell your data to some third party companies. A lot of people are under the notion that if I don't have anything to hide, I don't have anything to fear. But it is an awful way of thinking because the hackers can access a lot more than what you think you don't have to hide. So I have discussed with you the problem. So let me also discuss with you the solution. The solution is in many ways. The first one, use two-factor authentication. The second one is keep different passwords on different websites. Ensure that anywhere on the internet, you don't have same passwords because it can be that if there is a hack of some sort or a data leak on a particular website, then all your accounts having the same password have a probability to be hacked. Now, talking about passwords, please do not keep predictable passwords that are very short. Keep long passwords and also with a strength, by which I mean is that they must consist numbers, capital letters, small letters, symbols, dashes, underscores, etc. Next thing is that update your software regularly. It helps the app or the website to cover up with the exploits they had. Now, these exploits are referred to as bugs when you update in your interface, which are to be removed if you update. These bugs are nothing but ways to access, steal and sell your identity or data. And lastly, be careful of how much you post online because there are very dangerous people if they get to know any sensitive information about your relationships, your family, or your location, it can be very dangerous. The National Security Agency of USA was conducting a mass surveillance operation on the data of the citizens of America. 
neither was anything private nor did they know that their personal data wasn't so personal now that was when edward snowden a former cia employee and a nsa contractor leaked some of the files related to this he found his duty to the citizens to save them from this mishap and to protect their privacy and today as i end i quote him privacy isn't something to hide privacy is about something to protect that's what you are that's what you believe in that's what you aspire to be privacy gives you the right to share with the world who you are on your own terms thank you